Okay, so this is another problem. This is, these are some of the more difficult problems because memorization is part of this, where you have to just know what the answer is sometimes. This, however, provides an example of how we might be able to figure out or back into it if we can't remember it. So Oil Exploration LLC paid 4,500 in printing, legal fees, commissions, and other costs associated with the recent bond issue. It's most likely to record these costs in its financial statements. Okay, so here's the key. There's debt being issued and there's a cost associated with that. You got commissions, you got all sorts of other documents and things that people are gonna charge you for, all right? So all of those fees, technically you're incurring them as you issue the debt, but the benefit of those are being realized over time. And because it's being realized over time, what we wanna do is we wanna figure out how to smooth out how we recognize that. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. So let's look at some of the answers. Let's start with C. C says, we're going to recognize those expenses as a cash outflow from investing activities under both U.S. and IFRS. Now, here's a problem is that this is we're issuing debt. Investing activities is when we buy assets for our business or sell assets for our business. Issuing debt is not buying assets for our business. That is a financing activity. And so because it says investing activities here, a cash outflow from investing activities, we know that this is probably not the right answer, all right? This is a financing activity, all right? Debt is a financing activity. So we're gonna eliminate C from our potential answers. Let's go to B. It says, let's, it says a liability is recorded under US GAAP and a reduction of the carrying value of debt under ISR, IFRS. So let's think about this. It's saying that US GAAP and IFRS do two different things, but not just two different things, the exact opposite things. So uh, under B, it says we're going to record that amount as a liability, increasing our liabilities under US GAAP, US GAAP. And then under IFRS, it says we're going to reduce liabilities. And looking at that, if you just think about it for a moment, IFRS and US GAAP, yeah, they butt heads every once in a while and disagree, but they don't disagree like this. This is saying one's a liability and one says it's it's a negative liability. It's the, it's the opposite. That doesn't happen too often. So by principle, we can say, yeah, B is probably not going to be the one that it's going to be. So let's see if this gets us to what the answer is. And the answer is, is under U.S. GAAP, an asset is recorded with the, those expenses. They're capitalized. And a reduction of the carrying amount is what's done of the debt is done under IFRS. So under U.S. GAAP, we record an asset. And under IFRS, they reduce the carrying amount that those bonds are held at. And it's one of these difficult ones where you have to kind of know the answer, but you can also kind of back into it by eliminating some of the other ones.